Whoop whoop and much crime like in the general family. This is just a video blog. I won't tell you what I've been up to. I've been hanging out with my recently I got a boyfriend and he's a pretty great guy. He treats me really nice and everything, and I don't have a problem. I just gotta get my divorce, which I'm going to do because I respect him enough. But put my pride aside and not wait for the husband to pay for it because I can't. If I did I would probably never be divorced. I can't get a little He's someone, I don't know where he's at, and he doesn't ever have any money. He doesn't know how to use his money properly, so I, w I would be doing for the rest of my life, and I can't do that to somebody that I'm with. So that's what I respect. Um, I got a 32 inch high def TV from my parents that they um, weren't using, they, they had not just had my bedroom because they got a bigger one. So I have that. It's not a fancy name brand or anything, but it works really great. Um, I got a Blu-ray player. I sold my wedding rings off and got a Blu-ray player. And all the jewelry my husband ever got me because we're not ever going to get back together. And I don't need any reminders of a bad past relationship. Especially that one, because it was a very bad towards the end. And I'm not going to talk about that anymore because I don't need to. But, um, oh. <clears throat> it's summer now and it's hotter than heck at work. Oh my god. It makes people sick to their stomach. It's so hot. Um, you sweat in places you didn't even know you could sweat, which is kind of nasty. 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 But other than that, oh. First, I did. the book I'm reading right now is right here. Let me show you what book I'm reading. I am reading Definitely Dead by Charlene Harris. It's the sixth book in the Sticky Stack House book. See, it says it right here. It's the Sticky Stack House novel. It's a very good book. This is your slip piece. This is. The show is a lot different and a lot, they make the show a lot more dramatic than the books are. The books are awesome. I love the books. I'm halfway through the book and I'm finding it to be very fascinating. It's definitely worth reading. And if you like True Blood, pick up the Sickest Black Box books today. Start out with Dead and Hagar and read them in order. And if you've seen the show, don't skip around and skip stuff because then when somebody asks you something, if they've read the books too, you're not going to know what they're talking about. You're going to be like, huh? Like, somebody just watched the Twilight movie and said they read the book, but they didn't. And they read it. And then I asked them something that would happen in the book. They're like, well, I didn't know that. It was like, did you read the book? Like, no, I skipped that one because I seen the movie. Don't skip them. The books tell you so much more. And if somebody's an avid Twilight fan, they're going to re read the books and watch the movie. And don't think that the movie is going to be the same. Because it's going to be different. The movie's way off. The mo books are so much better. And there's a lot of things that you don't that happens in the book. It doesn't happen in the movie. That they leave out that you need to know. In order to understand everything. And you'll get confused when somebody starts talking about it. Because they know in the books a lot more. And it confuses people. So if you're going to read the if you're going to read any of the books, start at the beginning of the Twilight books and read them all the way through to the end, to, in order. Same with the Ch Charlene Harris books, because if you don't, when someone's read them and they're talking to you about it, you're going to get so confused. And the main end thing in the book that happens in the second season of True Blood happens differently, in, way differently in the second book. So I suggest reading them in order. Don't skip around because you really, really confuse, will confuse yourself and you won't understand it and it will make you, make you not like, might make you not like it because you will be confused. That's why I always suggest if you're going to read a book series, read them in order. Don't, unless it's something like The Baby in the Club. It really doesn't have to be read in order. Remember about the only book series I've ever found that you don't have to read in order. But the Charlene Harris books and the, and the Twilight books, you need, need to read them in order. Don't skip the first one because you've seen the first movie, or skip the first two because you read the first two, seen the first two movies. Movies and books, 
two totally different things. There's a lot more in the book. book. So, what do you guys think of the new movie? Isn't that just this cat meow so a accurate towards the book except for two little things? That what Bella and what Bella sees in her mind, what I'm not even gonna tell you. Bella sees something in her mind when Jacob kisses her in in the um when she's up in the mountains before their big old fight thing. I'm not gonna say it more. I don't wanna ruin it for y'all that haven't seen it, but she sees something in her mind. And the little story that Jacob's dad tells at the council meeting that Bella goes to is a little bit different. It's the story of how they were seeing werewolves. That's all I can say, but it's a lot different in the book. And the reason that they're given for them to become werewolves? Wrong. Very wrong. It's not right toward the, to the book. The story's a lot longer. They could have added about another five minutes to the movie and just told the whole, told the whole werewolf story. I wish they would have. That would have been bomb because that story is really, really neat. That's one thing I liked about that book is that story. And that was my favorite book. Eclipse is my favorite Twilight book. What's your favorite Twilight book? Peace out and much crown love to my Jaguar family.